Hello, good morning. This is the second program. This is the video blog for second program. Write a C, C++ POSIX complete program that prints the POSIX defined configuration options supported on any given system using feature test macros. So there are already macros that are being uh, defined. These are called as test macros. And these macros evidently will uh, test certain features that are supported by the uh, host machine. And if it is supported, then it will return then it will return certain uh, uh, return a true value, a boolean true value. If it is not, um, you know, kind of not supported, then it will return a boolean false value. So to check whether these test macros will be again using POSIX C source 199309L, as I mentioned in my previous uh, blog post, video blog post. 1099309L indicates POSIX 1B. Underscore POSIX underscore source indicates POSIX 1. And both of these uh, two definitions need not be together. It can be POSIX C source 199309L since it is in higher version. I'll directly jump into the code here. Uh, this is the if def statement is a preprocessor directive. Uh, what we are doing here is testing the macro this is the macro here underscore POSIX underscore job underscore control this will be defined in uni std dot h if it is present if it is present for the current system then we are going to print system supports job control features job control features are essentially job scheduling you know job uh, um, uh, page uh, something related to uh, job control that uh, uh, overall you know in a process we have five states uh, a lot of uh, uh, stuff related to uh, scheduling and a lot of stuff related to process waiting and how exact how exactly this process states has to be changed in the process control block all these things will be uh, done in job control so if it is not supported then we are going to say system does not support job control similarly there are other if -tough statements POSIX saved IDs, system supports saved set UID and saved set GIDs. So UIDs and GIDs can be saved in the system. Uh, in many operating system like tiny OS, uh, these, uh, this support is not provided where you cannot set a uh, user ID and a group ID and it will not be saved. Once you restart the system, these UIDs can will vanish off because tiny OS by very nature will load completely into the RAM and it will be unloaded from the RAM when you um, shut down the system. And if it does not does not support, it is going to print it doesn't support. POSIX chown restricted. Uh, if your system supports changing the ownership, ownership of a file, then everything in Unix is a file. So if you are if you are able to change the ownership of the file, that particular feature is supported by your Unix operating system then uh, this feature will be uh, printed here system supports change ownership feature or else system does not support change ownership feature all these things are macros we call this as feature test macros okay there is one more feature test macro if def POSIX no trunk POSIX underscore no underscore trunk system supports path truncation option truncations option or else if the system does not support path truncation option then it will print system does not support path truncation option and there is last uh, uh, POSIX v disable if uh, system support disable character for files then uh, it will print uh, system support disable character for files if it does not support such a feature then system does not support disable characters because see basically disable characters means if you are able to give some characters for a file name so that is the reason uh, so we will look into the uh, output of this particular function how are we going to print the output it is very clear so i am going to clear this screen before i show you the output g plus plus p2 dot cpp dot she dot out see in our particular computer all these features are supported so we can see the support uh, available for all the features here. Thank you.